my name is Jeremy, and this is my freedom story. Getting into toxic relationships, uh, suffering a back injury, and doing things my way, and I, I got back into the throes of addiction, and ended up back home in New Orleans, you know, for about a year. You know, I felt like a letdown. You know, I had some people that were really proud of me for where my life was going, and I went back to doing it my way. And so Casey used the phrase when he officiated and married us at our wedding, and the phrase was, but God, that um, if it wasn't for God, that none of this would happen. And this comes up often, and it, it did in our relationship before marriage, and it comes up often in our relationship now that we're married. And we just come to the realization so often that aside from God, uh, that we wouldn't even be together. And I think we also reflect on, I had a, a painful life in a lot of aspects. You know, I had an alcoholic father in a broken home, fell into uh, alcohol and, and drugs and addiction myself, made a lot of bad choices, caused me a lot of heartache. And it, I feel honored to, to tell my wife that if I can go back and not go through the brokenness and the pain and the heartache, that I wouldn't do it because I believe that's all part of, of, of what God had uh, for me to get where I am so that I can be blessed with what I have here today in front of me. I'm Ashley and this is my freedom story. I had so much fear in my past with churches. I needed a church that wasn't like super shiny and bright and clean. I needed a church that I could go and bring my mess and be open about how much of a mess my life was and still experience like acceptance and encouragement. Our church is such a safe family. That that's a place that we're healed, it's, and we're renewed every day. Some days we are full of joy and all the things that we would hope to be in Jesus, and other days I'm not those things. And our church is a place that I'm able to be honest about um, my shortcomings, where I am, and that has just been the key to living a true, authentic life in Jesus with true freedom, no pretense, you no know, show, you know, this is where I am today and, you know, this is what Jesus has done and I'm still a mess, but that's okay. I'm going to be a mess until Jesus comes back. It was just a huge place of, of healing for me. They just showed me the, the character of God through the body of the church. And, and, you know, they told me, they said, Jeremy, you know, pick your head up. Don't be ashamed because we don't care about what you've been doing. They said, yeah, your, your failures and your, um, and your setbacks, that's for the cross of Christ. And they said, we're just happy to be able to welcome you home. <laughs> and he came out with a cake. He said, welcome home, Jeremy. And, uh, and through that experience, I was able to, to experience the real character and the heart of God because of how he expresses his love to the people at the Ave. They able to extend that to me. And so he, he gave me a family back, a sense of family away from my own, through continuing to seek him, to love him, to be engaged with that. He actually extended <laughs> to my personal family, right here. So it's been a super cool experience.